the format of being robot. I'm just a normal guy who hates school and loves playing video games. I have lots of cousins, and sometimes, I visit them. The reason for that sometimes is because they live in an entirely different country, so it would take hours, if not days to get there by car. My mom would sometimes take me on vacations to random countries during breaks, and I just want to stay home and sleep. I just decided that maybe it's for the best of me. Summer break is over and today's my first day of middle school. I woke up feeling tired, and I poured cereal and milk and ate breakfast. I started talking to myself about how I wish summer break lasted longer, and I heard the doorbell ring. My siblings were asleep, my mom was in the bathroom, and my dad had already left for his job, and because I didn't know better, I opened the door. There was a random guy and he gave me a DVD case labeled, Bedtime with Spongebob. He said nothing, and just left. I loved Spongebob Squarepants when I was a little kid, so I must have thought that my mom probably bought a Spongebob episode about sleeping and waking up, because of my problems with waking up on weekdays tired. It was almost time for school, so I decided to leave it, so I could watch it after school. I hid the case in my closet so nobody can mess with it, or think I'm stealing while not trusting me when telling the truth. I was on the bus googling bedtime with Spongebob to see what it was all about, but the only results I got were people selling Spongebob plushies on eBay or Walmart. After I got a planner from the school, I wrote, watched Spongebob episode after school is finished. I got homework, and all of them are, you guessed it, introducing yourself assignments on Google Classroom, and most of my teacher's profile pictures were their bitmojis. After I finished my homework and ate dinner, I went back to my closet and grabbed the Spongebob DVD case. I snuck downstairs to play the episode on my TV that has a DVD player. My mom would buy movies and shows from the library to play on the DVD player. I remember when we were going on a vacation to a different country or state, we would go on our GMC with a small monitor on the ceiling, and watch movies to kill time, like watching Madagascar. I put the DVD in, and the episode immediately starts with the normal intro, without a menu that Spongebob episode DVDs normally have. The title card appears, saying the words, wake up. How ironic for a case to be labeled something different, and the episode name is the exact opposite. After the title card, the screen transitions to Bikini Bottom. The background looks like it's nighttime, so I might as well assume that the episode has the same subject as the label on the DVD case. The episode starts playing calm music. The French narrator says, Ah, hit night at Bikini Bottom, where the creatures stop playing and fall into deep slumber. The screen fades to the three main houses. A pineapple for Spongebob, a moly for Squidward, and a rock for Patrick. As lights turn off and curtains close, here comes the pajamas, and off goes our clothes. The narrator said. The screen fades to Spongebob and Gary sleeping in their bedroom, as the French narrator continued. Inside, it's dark, and they're feeling weary. They go into their beds. Good night Spongebob and Gary. The screen zooms to Spongebob sleeping, and the narrator says. Spongebob looks happy, excited for tomorrow to make another Krabby Patty. I'm ready, I'm ready, that's what he said. What dreams does he have? What does he think? I wonder what's going on inside his head. Today we will visit his brain. Pool of sunshine, without a single drop of rain. The screen transitions to Spongebob's dream. It takes place inside Spongebob's brain, the same place that Plankton entered in the movie, Sponge Out of Water. Spongebob was happily running, waving at anthropomorphic candy playing fun outdoor games. Spongebob came across a male chocolate bar, and a female plain cookie holding a baby stroller. Spongebob looks inside to see a baby chocolate chip cookie. Spongebob told the parents. Ah, it's so cute. Spongebob starts running on a rainbow, and as he slides, puzzle pieces appear and connect together, forming a door and it opens. Spongebob slides into the door, and the screen goes to the kitchen in the Krusty Krab. The kitchen was piled up with Krabby Patties. Some were even next to his grill. 
SpongeBob exits an open closet, and crashes into the grill, and Mr. Krabs enters the room, slamming the door open as he yells. SpongeBob! Quit fooling around! We got Krabby Patties to serve! Now we'll be in my room counting me money if you need me! Squidward starts laughing as he says, I wanna see that again! And starts laughing more. SpongeBob starts cooking Krabby Patties for a couple seconds, until one of the Krabby Patties started talking. It sounded like a girl, and it said, SpongeBob, don't serve me to the customers. I don't want to be eaten. Another Krabby Patty that sounded like a full-grown man started speaking, and said, Me neither. It's so painful. Please save me from this torture chamber which we call, the mouth. All the Krabby Patties started talking unintelligibly, and SpongeBob ran to Mr. Krabs to talk about those talking patties. Mr. Krabs checks the kitchen, and all the Krabby Patties are silent. That'll be off your paycheck for wasting time. I got me money to count! Once Mr. Krabs left, the same Krabby Patty that sounded like a girl said, Save us. Would you live in happiness without work and responsibilities, or in stress with a greedy boss? All the Krabby Patties started talking unintelligibly again, and SpongeBob went back to Mr. Krabs to tell them that it's happening again, so Mr. Krabs checked and of course, the burgers were silent. Mr. Krabs starts to accuse SpongeBob of making excuses to skip his job, and fires him, picking SpongeBob really hard, the same way he launches Plankton, as you can hear a faint noise of Squidward laughing, while SpongeBob held. This is the best day ever! SpongeBob lands his face on the chum bucket, and a hole below him opens up. SpongeBob starts falling down, and the screen goes to his bedroom. SpongeBob falls down and breaks the ceiling as his alarm clock sounds, until it starts breaking down to the point it disappears. Gary seemed to be missing, so SpongeBob assumed that he went downstairs. SpongeBob tries to open his bedroom door, but out of nowhere, it disappears. SpongeBob tries to exit through the window, but it disappears as well. Then, one of the candy creatures from SpongeBob's brain appears, and it looks like a cupcake. It starts to say the words, Wake up! Soon, a Krabby Patty appears as well, as it says the same thing as the cupcake. After a couple seconds, Mr. Krabs and Squidward appear, also chanting the words, Wake up! While SpongeBob covers his eyes, shaking in fear. When SpongeBob opens his eyes, they all disappear, and the lights soon go out. SpongeBob starts feeling afraid, wondering what's going on. Then, the walls started shrinking, and SpongeBob started to go into a corner, saying his last words. Good night, Bikini Bomb. Tomorrow, I won't be here. SpongeBob gets crushed to death. The alarm clock noise starts fading in, and the screen fades to reality, in his bedroom with the lights on, the door and window shown, and Gary still sleeping, but in a corner, it looks like SpongeBob was laying down dead. No snoring, and he didn't move a single inch. He was at the same corner to where he was about to get crushed. The screen faded to the Nickelodeon logo without the credits. I felt multiple emotions. I was scared, because I never saw a Spongebob episode that would have been like that. I was confused, because I don't know how it would help me sleep. I have no words. Last time I googled and got no results, that search term was Bedtime with Spongebob, like the case name. I decided to google the episode name, and I just got clips of random Spongebob episodes. I might be the first to discover it. I would throw it into the trash, but I decided to just hide it from my parents and siblings. I decided to play it on my computer, since it has a built-in DVD player, and recently got the screenshot of the title card. If any of you get a SpongeBob DVD case from a random person you don't know, it could be that episode. If so, try finding details, ask Nickelodeon workers, etc. Anything that can give us clues about this episode. I'll be back with updates later.